In my previous videos, I showed you the weaknesses in Windows user passwords as a means of protecting your computer. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to encrypt your entire system drive with the free and open source tool TrueCrypt. So we'll go to TrueCrypt.org and download TrueCrypt. Uh, TrueCrypt claims to be a free and open source program, although some people in the open source community dispute that because of the license that TrueCrypt is released under, but that is not uh, the purpose of this video. So let's uh, install TrueCrypt. we want to install it. Uh, all of these defaults are okay. Uh, it recommends that you read the beginner's tutorial. Uh, I've already read the beginner's tutorial so I'm going to check no, but I definitely recommend that you read that tutorial if you're going to be using TrueCrypt. Okay, now that we've got TrueCrypt installed, let's go ahead and run it. Uh, go up to System and Encrypt System Partitioner Drive. Uh, we want to do a normal system encryption. Uh, we want to encrypt the whole drive. Uh, and we want to encrypt the host protected area. A sing this is a single boot system. I only have Windows XP on this machine. I'm I'm going to use the AES and the uh, RPI RIP EMD 160. Uh, just these are the default algorithms. Okay, now you need to choose your key file and they recommend that it's more than 20 characters in length. Uh, it should be a combination of capital and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Uh, and remember, you're going to have to type this password in each time you reboot, reboot your computer. So, before the operating system even loads, this is what you're going to have to type in. So keep that in mind so you can remember it. Okay, I got my uh, password typed in. If you type in a password that's less than 20 letters, you'll get a warning. Uh, so, random collecting random data here by moving the mouse around. Now, select next, uh, next again. Okay, now uh, TrueCrypt will create a rescue disk image uh, that can be used in case the bootloader is damaged and so I just created it and now TrueCrypt wants to verify that I actually have physically burned this rescue disk but as you've seen from my previous videos I can fake windows out and mount a virtual disk so I mount this TrueCrypt rescue disk with WinCD EMU and go next and it's verified that it, that the disk is there I do recommend that you do burn an actual rescue disk um, and store it in a safe place uh, it has an option of wiping your hard drive before encrypting uh, this is not recommend I mean this is going to slow down 
the encryption process and if you don't have any sensitive data on your drive right now then there's no point in wiping and I don't so I'm just going to select none and click next uh, now it's going to do the encryption pretest uh, where it'll reboot my computer and show me what it's going to be like when TrueCrypt is installed So I'll continue recording as Windows is shutting down. Okay, this is the TrueCrypt bootloader. So you have to type in your password. and it worked. Uh, so everything is going as planned so far. Okay, so we're back in Windows and this is the screen that you get after completing the test. Uh, at this point you're ready to start encrypting your drive. And so I will select encrypt. Uh, this tells you about the True, True Crypt Rescue Disk. I encourage you to print it out and read it. And now you'll see that the this is the actual encryption window. Uh, it shows the percentage uh, of your drive that's encrypted, estimated time left, status is encrypting. Uh, you can pause it at any time. But I'm going to pause this video because it estimates that it's going to take 25 minutes to encrypt this drive. And after that, um, I'll give you an example of how it works. Okay, so that took about 20 to 25 minutes to encrypt this drive. Uh, note that's on a very very slow computer inside a virtual machine so uh, most modern computers will be much faster than that so you get a message that says the system partition has been successfully encrypted now what does this mean uh, well first off let's restart our computer uh, it means that only you are going to have access to your information if you choose to. Uh, when, after, when you shut down your computer, even if someone pulled out this hard drive and put it in another computer, they wouldn't be able to read the data unless they somehow crack the encryption code. entered my password. Oh, I entered it incorrectly. There we go. So that's what you're going to have to do every time you boot up your computer. And that makes sure that only you or anybody you give your uh, password to can use your computer so uh, otherwise your computer will function normally and that's how to use TrueCrypt to encrypt your system partition uh, you can also use it to encrypt non-system partitions uh, such as external drives or thumb drives uh, and I might cover those in a later video uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments or contact gaslampcomputers.com